Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, June 3rd to June 9th, 2019 and bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards <clears throat> and we can go straight away to the spread. Alright, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for uh, Virgo's week, that is going to be the Ace of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Virgo needs to uh, face throughout the week, this is going to be the Ten of uh, Wands. Afterwards we have the positive aspect of the Virgo's week, that is going to be the Five of uh, Pentacles. And then the last one that we do have that will be the guidance itself, and the guidance is the star card. All right, so once again, Virgos, we do have the Ace of Cups. That stands for the, uh, for the topic. Afterwards, it is the Ten of Wands, which is uh, the challenge. Then we do have the Five of Pentacles, which is the positive aspect. And the last one is going to be the star card, which is the guidance. All right, so... Uh, well, that is going to be quite an exhilarating week, Virgo, because a, um extraordinary experience is what awaits you, at least according to these cards. So the topic itself, it is the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups points to impending change, which makes the old concepts and as well the old ideas and the old worries, that's it, um, completely irrelevant, right? This this change itself is going to bring you deep contentment and as well for some of you, uh, it's going to give you the opportunity to make a wish come true, right? One of your wish, one of your dream may come true throughout this, um, throughout this week. So, uh, like I said, this is to be an extraordinary experience which transcends your daily reality. However, um, that will be something peripheral, if I may express it that way. So it's not going to take place into a, a troublesome situations that, situation that you have, but as it takes place as something new, it makes the troublesome situation completely irrelevant. To give you an example, let's say you struggled profoundly into your career, you are in a very bad spot, you are almost going to get fired, and that is a big problem. Well, uh, then the Ace of Cups plays the role, a new job comes in, all right? And as you know that there is a new job and you are ready to take that new job, it makes your problems into the current one that you're working completely irrelevant, you know? And it does transcend your reality, reality into a, a new job. Same thing could be taken into uh, one relationship as well. You are in a very miserable spot into, into your relationship. You no longer love your partner, you're searching for a way, you know, to either repair it or walk away from that relationship, which appears to be a problem for you. 
and suddenly a new person comes in that you both fall for one another and that makes the problems into your current relationship completely irrelevant. So the uh, accompanied card here that is going to be the um, Knight of Wands and the formation it is a passive uh, passive enemies for what we have so what the knight of wands here points is that this is going to be a one time opportunity all right so a one time offer to to take on this uh, impending change therefore here these cards are uh, pointing that you should not be hesitant or reluctant okay once that point of salvation appears to your manifests to you let's say you know like said you are miserable into your relationship and suddenly you get introduced to person that you feel kind of deep attachment to they feel deep attachment to you as well being hesitant should you proceed with it or not it is the last thing you want i mean you gotta grab that opportunity with um with your fistfuls and uh, move on along with it so you can make like i said your current worries completely relevant and make your wish come true being happy into one relationship that is just for a and an example okay or if you can you may be single for a long time well that could be the person you know coming around that you can start dating with which makes your worries of being single completely relevant so this exhilarating thing an extraordinary experience like i said is going to make your current worries and troubles completely irrelevant so the problem here, however, uh, the challenge, Ten of Wands. Well, first of all, it will require a lot of devotion when we do have the Ten of Wands in there. It will require a lot of, um, how can I place it, adaptations, because the, the whole thing, this impending change will have a certain criteria that you need to fulfill. Therefore, you have to play a certain role. You have to play them according to the rules of the game that it is forming here. And that could be a bit challenging because you may not get because you may not be used to do it, all right? You may not you you may not be used to um well I would say it that way, you may not get the hang of it straight away, okay? And you may have a bit a rough time adapting yourself to it because you know you have to please somebody or please a, a certain situation, and that could go which goes a little bit out of your way. But like I said, that is a change, and change requires a um rather unorthodox soul maneuvers so that will be the challenge itself for you guys and also with the ten of wands um there is a, a little bit of a different shade here which means that you may uh decide to establish a, a strong control over that will be a challenging as well you should uh, allow that um, in that change to unfold naturally and the other thing is that you may um, rush into it prematurely, leaving some important matters unattended throughout uh, throughout this week. Like rushing into the new relationship without settling, settling the score with your ex-boyfriend or with your ex-girlfriend um, or with your ex-husband. Moving into the new job without settling the score with your previous employer and so on and so forth. The accompanied card here, that will be the devil. And the combo that we do have, it is active neutrals. And, uh, uh, well, the devil doesn't really contribute much to the Ten of Wands. In this, uh, this follow-up, it only says that... Um, how can I describe it? It does, it does says, guys, that you may find it difficult to exert your, uh, your power and full potential. That, that is the only problem that you are to face. Like I said, you will have to um, move along with a, with a specific rules and by you being insubordinate by those rules, as it's going to be a challenging for you to obey the rules, you may not unfold the full power of um, or the full potential of this uh, impending change coming along. So uh, that leads us to the next card, which is actually the good stuff, and that will be uh, the positive aspect. So we do have the Five of Pentacles. And Five of Pentacles is a positive card, tells us a couple of things. First of all, you will recognize that um, the happiness resides in many, in many different gazes. And happiness is not only a material prosperity. Furthermore, it seems that you are going to detach yourself from a situations that are presenting problems and plights at many fronts. Like I said, troublesome... Um, 
project at work or a troublesome work itself, you know, troublesome situation into your relationship or the relationship itself and so on and so forth. And additionally to that, with the Five of Pentacles, you will also have supporters, a faithful supporters here. As we can see, two people are uh, running from the winter, meaning that you are not alone in this and you can rely on uh, someone who is in a similar um, in a similar position as you are as well that will help you recognize you know the uh, the change which is uh, coming for you or it's um, it will help you recognize you know how you can make your wish uh, fulfilled the accompanied card here that is to be the strength the formation is the passive neutrals that we have and uh, it's well it's kind of like uh, that you have that uh, personal understanding that if you don't take care for your own happiness, no one else will because the strength card it is about allowing, you know, your actions to speak for you and feeling not being obliged to constantly explain yourself in front of others. Therefore, it seems that you are going to place in front of yourself or you're going to place for yourself a, a narrative, a certain fulcrum that you are going to strive toward and uh, you are not going to allow, allow anybody's opinion to stray you from this narrative or from this fulcrum as well. The strength also points with the five of pentacles, that is, points to a uh, perseverance through patience, knowing that should you be um, in, um, not strong enough, but I would use the same word, patient enough to wait a little bit longer, uh, the more you the more you wait and clinch to this impending change, the more influence, you know, previous troubles that you are entering with in the week are going to have upon you until a complete severation or rather like a, a complete detachment from those um, from those plights and from those poignant situations. And uh, the guidance at the end, guys, that will be the uh, star card. <clears throat> And so the star card tells us only one thing here. Uh, it says that this week is going to be the end of uh, an era of a turmoil for you because this is the most important and the most strong uh, presence of the star card, especially as a guidance. It tells you that the bad times are over and you persevere through them. All right. And not, right now, what you have to do is to uh, focus com or rather attend completely toward the future, meaning that you should not think about the past, you should not try to fix it in any way, but instead, you know, start thinking about your long-term goals, because the star card, it is about long-term goals, it is not about a um, near happiness that resides only into the near future, but it's, it is about happiness and growth that resides for a lifetime, for example. So the, what the star card here points is that as the era of a turmoil has ended and you now have that um, extraordinary experience, you know, like I said, and, and that change which gifted you the resolution to your issues or the escape you required from your poignant situations. Well, now is the time to start planning big and to give expression to your goals and to your dreams as well. The accompanied card here, that is to be the Knight of Swords formation. It is a active supporters, what we have. And uh, uh, this, these couple of cards are pointing that as, um, as this era of a turmoil ends, the more um, self-belief is what you are going to start obtaining. More, you are going to start becoming more courageous. And through your courage that you are to obtain, the more um, determined decisions is what you're going to make. And the more you move along with this new change that is coming for you throughout this week, June 3rd to June 9, 2019, the more, con uh, the more, uh, well, what was I about to say? It's very difficult to explain. Yeah, the more you move along with this impending change, guys, the more um, the material aspect of your situation or meaning, you know, the um, the events which are happening are going to be aligned with your emotional expectations as well. Meaning that you will not have to do things that you would not like as uh, the more this uh, change manifests itself. Of course, at the start, as I said, you will have to oblige to the rules of the game. 
but it seems that the more you play the game, uh, the more you're going to get a hang of it and the more you're going to start liking it until you realize, you know, that that was your, uh, your thing. I mean, that was the thing that you avoided for. So that being said, Virgos, this was your weekly tarot reading for a June 3rd to June 9th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.